This is Picea glauca, the white spruce, and it's one of two native spruce species in Wisconsin. White spruce is an upland species compared to the black spruce, which is a lowland species. And when you come up to a conifer in order to identify it, it really helps to look on the ground and try to find the cones, since cones are such a useful trait. Let's see if we can find any here. And we, there's a bunch of them, um, those cones of white spruce. The cones of white spruce are rather small and cylindrical, maybe a couple of inches long. And like all spruces, they have thin kind of papery cone scales. And in white spruce, the scales are blunt and rounded. They're not jagged or toothed. When you look at a, uh, for cones on a conifer tree, it's really important to look either on the ground, as I said, or at the top of the tree near the tip where most of the cones are born up in the sun. White spruce needles are between three quarters and an inch long, usually less than an inch long. And like all spruces, they're pointy and four angled, rather sharp. Pretty nondescript as far as spruce needles go all together. So it really helps to look at the cones when identifying this species, as well as the habitat being an upland plant. White spruce has a typical conical shape of conifers, and it's an extremely economically important species, being probably the most important spruce for lumber that we have in North America.